You ever think about how you interact with others? You know, I think we've all been there when we want to impress someone. What should I say to make them think that I'm funny, but also calm and collected? How do I demonstrate knowledge and maybe a degree of wit, but also not come off as self-centered and narcissistic? How do I express my opinions while also being innocuous? I was recently at a social event and I remember talking to a stranger I met for the first time and the next day I found myself thinking a lot about them and I asked myself, why am I so drawn to you? Why do I find you so interesting? I think self-image is really important and how interesting you view yourself can affect your sense of self-worth and inner confidence. So I think being interesting carries a lot of value in your life and for a multitude of reasons, right? So when you're interesting, people are drawn to you, they want to connect with you, and I think this creates advantages for you in terms of friendship, um, your romantic life, your career, helping you build a strong network, etc, etc. Now, despite all of this, I don't think that should be the primary reason, um, you know, for being an interesting person. As corny as it sounds, I think being interesting is more for yourself, right, and for your own happiness. Um, you know, there's only one person in the entire world that you have to spend the rest of your life with, and that person is yourself. So being interesting in your own eyes is not about impressing other people, it's about improving who you are and becoming the best version of yourself as possible. Now, being interesting isn't something that I think you should force, you know. I titled this video with the word naturally for a reason, because I think being authentic with who you, you know, really are is very important. Now, I didn't make this video for the sole purpose of, you know, spreading positivity and leaving you with a, with a happy feeling after watching. My goal is to provide actionable steps, you know, that's what I want this channel to be about. So, here are some of the aspects of people that I've observed that I think make them magnetic, you know, mysterious, and ultimately interesting. Knowledge is not about being the smartest person in the room. You know, I don't think you really need a high IQ to be interesting. But something that I found myself, you know, really drawn to people is that when they showcase that they have deep knowledge about things in life, so whether that be, you know, current events, um, you know, random facts about things they're passionate about, world experiences, stuff like that. So I think the best way to develop this type of knowledge is to always be learning, you know, whether that be learning new skills, maybe you're learning an instrument, new languages, you're reading books, developing hobbies, etc. Right? So like I said, I don't think you need to be super smart to be knowledgeable about things in life. Um, one way that I've personally developed some type of knowledge is actually by learning through investing. I uh, probably shouldn't do this, but I actually check my Robinhood portfolio pretty frequently. And I always try to read about the state of the stock market, the housing market, the crypto market. And, you know, there's tons of events that causes indexes like this to fluctuate. FDA approval for a new drug, you know, companies filing for bankruptcy, governments passing new policy. You naturally learn these things when you see your portfolio drop 10% one day. <coughs> so um, anyways, you don't have to do this specifically, that's just an example, but, you know, I think being a lifelong learner and seeking knowledge, I think, makes people interesting. Now, everyone has hobbies, right? So if you watched, you know, one of my most recent videos, you'll know that you don't even have to be good at your hobbies. However, I believe that authentic passion is something that people in general find really fascinating. And the reason I say authentic is because, you know, I think sometimes we can focus too much on impressing people by pretending to be interested in their own hobbies, you know, to the point where sometimes it doesn't even come off as real. You ever see those people where they're like, so what's your favorite movie? I really like Avatar The Last Airbender, the movie. Oh, no way, me too. Are you serious, my brother? Or maybe something like, so what's your favorite band? I really like uh, One Direction. Oh, no way, me too, me too. Yeah, that's not really uh, interesting in my eyes. I think that's more uh, kind of weird. Um, I think once people detect even a sliver of fakeness, I think that can be really off-putting. It is for me anyways, and, you know, I think naturally, we're drawn to people who are real, who are comfortable with their authentic self. 
So I ask you, do you showcase your excitement and love for the things you're passionate about in life? What are your interests and what makes you, you? I think interesting people embrace opportunities in life. And this one I can understand can be really hard for some people, especially if you know, you're more shy and reserved and um, you know, there's nothing wrong with that, but I think being uncomfortable is an important part of growth. So if you open yourself up to new connections in life, if you embrace opportunities, you'll ultimately have better stories to tell. You'll be well informed about, you know, certain experiences and you'll ultimately be able to discuss a variety of topics that you might not have if you didn't embrace these opportunities. I think being open-minded is a really important quality of someone that's really interesting. Um, you know, stubbornness and arrogance is not really a quality that people find interesting or people that are attracted to. Now, like I said, I don't think this is something that you have to try to do necessarily. It comes naturally when you open yourself up. Now, what is charismatic listening? Um, I'm not really sure, to be quite honest. I uh, kind of just made up this term. I don't think it's a coined phrase or anything. Um, but regardless, I think, you know, being a good listener is major in an interesting person. And there's a reason I put this section last. It's because it's my favorite belief, you know. The way you interact in conversation is quite possibly one of the most influential ways I think you can affect someone's judgment um, about you, you know, your body language. Are you looking at them in the eyes when you're talking? Are you, you know, are you smiling? Do you look bored? You gotta ask yourself these questions when you're in your interactions. You know, how do you respond to their stories? You know, are you saying one word that replies like, okay, cool? You know, that's not very interesting. One of my biggest pet peeves is actually when, you know, I'm talking to someone and I'm sharing this really, you know, specific and passionate story of mine and um, there's just no substance in their response. Or even worse, they change the subject or walk away, you know. That actually hurts my feelings sometimes. But uh, anyways, listen, one thing I've learned is that people love talking about themselves, right? If you want to be interesting, you have to be interested in them. Um, you know, ask them questions, ask them to elaborate. Show them that you're curious about, you know, whatever they have to say. This will make people drawn to you. People like this, and I think, you know, the art of being a good listener is critical if you want to have some charisma and become interesting. All right, so those are some of the key things I just wanted to rant about. Uh, I hope you found this video interesting. You need to leave. Man, I'm so funny. Uh, I'm just kidding. Uh, anyways, if you liked it, you know, feel free to like and subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions or if you have any opinions about you know, what makes people interesting. I read and respond to everyone's comments. So um, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed and uh, see you guys next week.